For millennia, one of man's wildest fantasies has been traveling through time. It has long been a common tendency in fiction and film. One of the most enigmatic science fiction concepts is the concept of time travel. Many people think that although the government has time travel capability, it has yet to disclose it to the general public. Others think that time travel is impossible and that if it existed, someone from the future would have contacted us by now so that we might have learned about it. Perhaps we have though. Every now and then, someone could notice a historical image that simply doesn't seem right. However, there are countless proofs that prove the existence of time travelers. Stay with us till the end to find out if these images provide evidence that time travel is possible. Is Greta Thunberg really a time traveler? Swedish environmental activist Greta Tinton Eleonora Ernman Thunberg is well known for pressurizing world leaders to take quick action to combat climate change. When Thunberg convinced her parents to change their lifestyles to lessen their personal carbon footprint, she began her campaign. In order to protect humanity from the looming climate calamity, might Greta Thunberg be a time traveler sent from the future? Following this week's discovery of a photo of a young Klondike gold miner who bears a substantial similarity to the Swedish campaigner, a number of Twitter users appear to believe this. The now famous photo of three kids working in a gold mine in Canada's Yukon region dates back to 1898 and is a part of a vast collection taken by documentary photographer Eric Hegg. The Swedish American Americans took some of the most well-known photographs of people trying to find success in the harsh north near the end of the 19th century. One of the kids, who has long braided hair and an intense gaze, strangely resembles the 16-year-old activist known for her Friday climate strikes. How can she be in the past if she is from the future, you ask? She can go to any time period, of course, because she is a time traveller. She definitely tried to travel back 120 years, but it was unsuccessful. Thus, she ended herself here, obviously, the author Jack Strange tweeted. It is challenging to identify the children in the picture because none of them are identified identified by name. The only information available is the time and place of Dominion Creek. However, the image perfectly captures the grim reality that many families had to deal with while they desperately searched for gold. Is John Travolta a time traveller? John Travolta, full name John Joseph Travolta, is an American actor and singer who was a cultural icon of the 1970s. After appearing in the 1994 film Pulp Fiction, he returned to the spotlight as one of Hollywood's top leading men after fading from the spotlight for the previous 10 years. John Travolta is a Scientologist and a lot of Scientologists think of reincarnation in some kind. Of course, time travel is also a possibility. Part of the seller's assertion is true. Although the Church of Scientology opposes reincarnation, it does believe in past incarnations as said by a church representative. Many Scientologists today are confident that they have lived lives in addition to the one they are now living. In Scientology, previous lives are not a dogma, but typically Scientologists have a past life experience during their auditing and then can confirm for themselves that they have lived before. There doesn't seem to be a time travel policy from the church. Travolta in 1996 and the modern world image definitely share some eerie resemblance when compared side by side. For instance, the chin and eyes. Did the US actually discover time travel during the Cold War? In his 2017 presidential campaign, Andrew Bashago asserted that the CIA launched Project Pegasus in the 1970s. He claimed that the program was created by a government organization and DARPA, Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, to examine how teleportation and time travel affect children. Additionally, it was purportedly utilized to deliver crucial information from the future to the military and intelligence agencies. Mr. Bashiago is attempting to make public the top secret experiment, which he claims was a Pentagon-backed attempt to modify time at the height of the Cold War. Mr. Bashiago claims he was one of the children involved in the project. He thinks that a sizable sum of taxpayer money was invested in the project that exploited Einstein's special theory of relativity to build a time machine. Mr. Bashiago has previously stated that the government's project's additional crucial purpose was to identify future presidents and give the CIA the opportunity to brief them. 
including the recent President Donald Trump. Mr. Basiago, a resident of Vancouver in the state of Washington, feels as though he has been transported back to 1863, shortly before Abraham Lincoln gave the famous Gettysburg Address during the American Civil War. But by 1972, when he claims to have travelled across time, Project Pegasus scientists had developed a method known as radiant energy that allowed them to bend space-time. Time-travelling hipster in the picture, a multitude of people in the 1940s are gathered to observe the reopening, but one man stands out because of the attire and accessories, which seem much too modern and contemporary for that specific time period. Internet users quickly identified the time traveller who stands out in the crowd when the Canadian Museum digitised the photograph and posted it online in 2010. He is holding a small portable camera and is dressed in a dark t-shirt, sunglasses and a hooded zip jumper. People all around him are dressed in period appropriate fitted clothes. The man can be seen sporting a hooded sweater over a printed t-shirt bearing the word M. Sports teams of the time frequently wore t-shirts like this. The Montreal Maroons, a hockey team that competed in the National Hockey League from 1924 to 1938, are represented by the insignia. Although protective sunglasses were also offered at the time, the small portable camera the man is holding stands out the most. While many people believe that portable cameras were only developed in the 1980s, Kodak actually produced a number of models that were readily available in 1941. Woman time traveller caught on camera holding a mobile phone. A woman was filmed clutching a piece of technology that wasn't created until several years later, about 10 years prior to the hipster photo. A group of women can be seen walking down some steps in the recently discovered picture. One woman stands out from the others because of the way she is dressed and the way she appears to be holding a phone as if she is on a call. The Strange Case of Rudolf Frentz Rudolf Frentz's tale is undoubtedly peculiar. He was run over in New York's Times Square while carrying cash and papers dating back to the 19th century. When presented as evidence that time travel is real, it all seems quite convincing, that is, until you find out it's all fiction. The premise, in fact, was taken from a 1951 science fiction story. However, Rudolf Fence is a fabrication. 1930s painting depicts a man holding a phone. Although smartphones were introduced in the 1990s, it wasn't until the late 2000s that they really took off. That implies that it is impossible for a painting from 1937 to include a smartphone, isn't it? Right. Except if a time traveller visited Umberto Romano and showed him a smartphone while he was creating this picture. This theory seems a bit illogical. However, some claim that this painting represents proof of time travel. How do you feel? Focus on the Native American who is holding something in his hand in the middle of the foreground of the picture. Mr. Pinkchon and the Settling of Springfield is the title of this picture. It shows William Pinkchon, a fur trader and the man responsible for establishing Springfield, Massachusetts in 1636. Time Traveller Holding the Phone on a Beach Similar to the previous painting, this picture depicts something of the same vibe. People are going crazy about a photograph from the 1940s that some claim depicts a man scrolling on an iPhone demonstrating the reality of time travel. Hundreds of people can be seen in the picture having a good time on the beach, but one individual has drawn notice since he appears to be from a totally different time period. In September 1943, there is one man who is being referred to as an imposter among the throngs of families lounging on the sands in Cornwall. He is standing while holding what appears to be a modern smartphone, which is definitely out of place in the 1940s. He is wearing a brown suit. Social media users debated what was bothering him leading to the nicknaming of him the Time Traveller Texting. While some people think this hypothesis is accurate, others dismissed it as absurd and insisted he was simply rolling cigarettes. Despite the social media debate, many persisted that the snapshot taken at Tower Beach in New Quay provided proof of the reality of time travel. Is the Hollywood actor Nicolas Cage a vampire? By now, it's probably safe to say that Nicolas Cage is a strange guy. He has earned a reputation as one of Hollywood's most eccentric figures due to his strange behaviour both on and off the screen. But up until now, it was at least clear that Nicolas Cage was not a vampire. But some people now seriously question Mr Cage's legitimacy as a human due to an unusual eBay listing. A man who remarkably resembles the actor is depicted in an 1870 photograph 
that is being sold by a Seattle, Washington resident. Is this a fake or the exposure of a vampire conspiracy in Hollywood? Some people are claiming the eBay seller story to be true and that Nicolas Cage is, in fact, a vampire from ancient times. However, the actor has denied these accusations saying, last time I checked, I do not drink blood and I can see my reflection in the mirror. Swiss watch discovered in a forsaken tomb. When Chinese archaeologists opened a hitherto undisturbed enormous coffin in the 400-year-old Si Qing tomb in Shaanxi County, China in December 2008, they allegedly found a little yet perfectly formed metal watch. They were allegedly astonished to see the device, which had three Swiss two etched on the back with a timestamp of 1006. At the time, theories said that the only conceivable explanation was that a time traveller had brought the futuristic watch back from the future and that the person whose tomb it was had somehow acquired it from the time traveller. The watch, however, is now generally acknowledged to have been a creative and unique digitally manipulated addition. Despite this, the image continues to appear on many websites as evidence of time travel. This makes the end of the list as the top 10 photos that can prove that time travel exists. Do leave a comment to let us know what you think about these eccentric photographs.